Curry Festa Curry Festa 14 Caribbean Festival of Arts Curry Festa 14 We are here in Trinidad and Tobago, Port of Spain at the Envision Youth Village a safe space for young people to come and showcase their skills, talents and culture At this youth village you're going to see a variety of activities such as pre cultural presentations, body painting, animation and games Stay with us as we give you a walk through this village is for you to come in to understand that they have many, many choices and that you can be a doctor if you want. You can be a doctor and an artist. You can be a lawyer and a spoken word artist. Um, or you can be a spoken word artist and you can, you can earn as much as a doctor or a lawyer and you can have that as your job. And it's as legitimate and as fulfilling a career, if not more so, than the careers that we encourage children to get into traditionally. Well, here at Bishops, we have a really nice setup. Um, as you walk into the youth village on your left, you would see the main hall where we would have our concert series every afternoon, as well as where the best village kids come and perform every day. We have two best village groups that come every day, and about 200 to 250 kids. Um, then, as you walk down the corridor, you would see our masterclass workshops going on. We have four rooms going down that corridor and the Ministry of Health is at the end and they've been doing some amazing, very engaging and entertaining workshops on mental health and wellness using art and uh, things like that. They've been doing a lot of dance and so. Then you would come around the corner and turn to your right and you would come to the open classroom, which is where we have the Annie Baker League working today and it's a great flexible space for that kind of activity. Um, we also have a big open space in the middle where we've had uh, just, it's just chill out, you know, you can sit and relax under the trees. We had the youth forum under there. Um, you can also have like a nice open space where we have sort of like a sustainable green area where we do a little workshop every day to teach people about sorting garbage and other things like that. As well as the film room where we have a program of films from the Channel and Baby Film Festival running. Um, and then you come right around where we have a mural, an interactive mural activity. We've had two master artists on site for the entire time and they've both been building murals and the kids have been interacting and helping with it and painting it as well and really participating in a kind of hands-on way. And I think that's very cool and that's kind of like a vibe thing. If you want to go, you can go do that. And then of course we have our export centers, Company Limited, they've been doing um, craft. We also have craft in the hall, I forgot about that. And uh, we also have a lot of stakeholders like NAC, who deals as the National AIDS Coordination Committee. We have the WASA, Dr. River Program, all of those things. And then you come into this area where we are now, where we have uh, Boy Boy and the Magic Drum. As we are filled with creativity and youth electricity, we are going to continue here at the Envision Youth Village. We are going to take you to an interview with Miss Elizabeth Montano, who has created a kiddie safe space for young children to come and do reading, featuring the book Boy Boy and the Musical Drums, which was written by her son, Marshall Montano. When Carrie Fester came up, I thought it was a good idea to relaunch the book and also to do this activity. And I discussed it with Marshall and he was all for it. So. Here it is. Plus, we also decided that after this, we are going to go into the schools. And, um, the, the story, it might be a children's book, but it is a story that could relate to any age, any size, any look, because we have been having families. 
The factory provided electricity, so everyone depended on it. But it was destroying Hanover Land City. Its chimneys caught plumes of colored fumes into the air, and slippery sludge spewed into the streets. People, both rich and poor, spilled out of their homes to follow boy boy. A few people even wore their costumes. Someone lifted boy boy and his drum into the air and began a rousing chair. Swinging workshops here um, at the Reef Village. Um, today we are doing another workshop on entrepreneurship, um, how we can use a bathroom to make an income. Um, and then we also uh, had a, a, a show at the Grand Market, a body art show. Uh, we conducted an intensive aesthetic workshop um, here as well that we taught uh, persons how to make uh, sculpt and build aesthetics. Um, and we, it is the last kind of day of work to say, um, where we actually did um, a live body painting at the Republic Band Boots at uh, Blue Village. Well, I would encourage other people to come to the Youth Village mainly because it's for the development of your people. Because me being here, I experienced how to work with others and how things really work during the events like this where backstage instead of going and attending you being a helper it more just gives you more experience and it, it's just it's a lot of fun and coming to the youth village here it's it makes you or it makes you just really look at things at a different perspective and uh, well yeah <laughs>